yeah. coach. Support Obviously, spring practice. You know, it's it's always an exciting time. Um, just your impressions, day one. Pressure is very good. You know, we had great a great winter. The guys worked really hard. You know, our attitude of this team, these guys love playing football. And um, you can tell the way they were flying around the day, great energy. Uh, guys wanting to learn, guys wanting to get better each day. So just it's exciting to get back on the field with them. It's been a long time. Obviously, you know, the headlines always with the team are the, are the quarterback position. You guys got a busy room there, you know, in spring ball. What are you hoping to see out of those guys, and kind of how do you see that playing out during this game? Well, the quarterback job is not only about how they perform, but how do they put all the other guys around them in a position to be successful? You know, so just because you can throw it doesn't necessarily mean one thing. Just because you can run doesn't necessarily mean one thing. Uh, you have to be able to lead, right, and make sure everybody understands the plays, clear and concise. They communicate. They make good decisions. Don't turn the football over. All of those things, right? And and the goal is to put that all together, right? And uh, so each day we're looking for improvement from those guys. You know, we have a very strong room there, and so it's going to be very competitive. How do you see the reps breaking down there at all? Well, that's, that's really the hard part is when you have six quarterbacks to try to get everybody reps. And so uh, we have to alternate days when one day some guy may get a little more reps than others, then you switch it the following day. And so we, just have to try, we, we tried something different today. We did two seven on sevens uh, for that reason. And it's not just the quarterbacks. We have some new receivers. We have some new players everywhere, DBs, linebackers. And so uh, and with a day in between, which is great for with spring ball, uh, it gives us the opportunity to do that and get more reps than we would, say, during fall camp or during the season. Speaking of the new guys, how quickly have you gotten to know them during this uh, offseason? Very quick. Yeah, we've been here for a while now, you know, so I have a meeting with each and every kid on the team. I th think we have 95 kids on the team right now, and I make it a point to sit down one on one with each one of them. Uh, not just talk about football and school, but uh, talk about life, you know, how their family's doing, what's going on in their life, how are they living, how are they eating, all that, you know. So I don't get a chance to do that often, but I love when we do have the opportunity to do that. And what do you notice about these new guys and the attributes that they bring to the program? Well, it's still early. You know, they're all really good guys. They all worked really hard. Coach Ward, our strength coach, did a phenomenal job in getting these guys ready to go for spring. So we're in great shape. Um, they had great competition through the winter workouts. And, um, you know, so now it's just a matter of taking all that. You know, they made a first impression through that, but now we have to take it onto the football field. And that's what we're in the process of doing right now. You have new coaches in addition to new players. Uh, I know it's day one, but Pat McCann obviously in a different role, but he was on staff. But between him and Armstrong and Pryor, Wade, what have you seen from from those guys and how they're kind of fitting in with the players? Yeah, well, of course, uh, Coach McCann has been here, so he understands the system. Coach Wade also has been here, so he understands the system. So it's important to have those guys on the staff uh, for continuity. Uh, coach Armstrong, our offensive line coach, is doing a great job. Um, we meet a lot to try to get everybody on the same page. Um, and then Coach Pryor as well. He worked together with Coach McCann before, and uh, so he's very familiar with, with him. And that room is a very healthy room. It's got enough youth and enough experience in the room to, to really do a good job. And so uh, today went off as, you know, no glitch. It went off as, as normal, you know. And so uh, everything was great. I'm excited to watch the film with them and uh, see how we can take the next step. From McCann specifically, does he step into exactly what Kirby did? Will he have the same role as Kirby, or do you change things a little bit because he's still handling the wide receivers? He has the same exact role as Kirby, except uh, coaching a different position. He's coordinating and calling plays from the receiver position. And Coach Wade is the quarterback coach who set in on all of Kirby's meetings last year. So there's a lot of continuity with our quarterbacks and the understanding of terminology because, you know, communication terminology is very important. And so to be able to use the same terms as was used in that room before, uh, I think is really important.
Coach, we haven't talked to you since the bowl game. Um, were you surprised that Evan Williams decided to, uh, to to not return to Fresno State? Well, I'm surprised he went in the portal. I was kind of, we we're going back and forth with the NFL and coming back, and then all of a sudden it was portal. So, uh, yeah, I was surprised with that, but um, we all wish him well. He was a great player for us, great young man. We have a lot of respect for him, much love for him, and uh, we wish him well. You were asked about the newcomers. I'm curious, you have a car on the team, obviously. Does it make you feel old to have David's son on, on your team now? Well, there's quite a few of those, actually. And yes, it does make me feel old. Uh, it's not the first time I felt that way, though. It's happened in the past few years. It, you know, when you start recruiting other players' sons, right, which happens a lot now, yeah, it's uh, been a long time. Been in this a long time. What does Tyler Carr bring to the team? You know, how can he uh, how can he help you? Well, he's very young right now. You know, he's very young. Um, he's got a long way to go, but he works really hard. He's competitive. He's trying every day, and uh, so, you know, the learning curve is is uh, pretty substantial. But uh, as long as he gives great effort and things like that, you know, a little bit undersized for the tight end position, but he's growing. He's working hard at it, and uh, so encourage to see how he does throughout spring. Since his uncle is in the news today, I'm curious if you have an opinion on Derek going to the Saints. Well, I didn't know that, but uh, uh, wish him the best too. You know, it's uh, it's really important. I, I know, you know, it seems like he put a lot of work into trying to find the right fit, and so uh, hopefully that's what it is. You know, obviously he's very talented and has done a lot of great things in the NFL, and uh, wish him well in the, his next uh, stop here. Uh, divisions in the Mountain West are gone this year. How does that impact or does it impact anything that you do? No, not really. I mean, I think I think maybe we will play one different team. Uh, Utah State maybe. Hawaii's not on the schedule, if I'm not mistaken, right? Um, but uh, no, it's, it's pretty much the same. It's the same teams. You know, I've been here a while, so we've played these teams before. Uh, I like our schedule. I think our bye is in a good spot. I like our schedule. Um, you know, we don't really have any cold weather games or supposedly cold weather games after October 14th. Uh, we go to Utah State on October 14th, and I think that's the last, would probably be the last chance to have a really cold weather game uh, until, you know, we get a hopefully play in a championship game. Cool. Thanks, Coach. Okay, you got it. Thank you.